This is the daily video update for Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm recording this update from home because I woke up this morning with a little bit of a cough. Now, my daughter Ailish has been a little under the weather the last couple days with an ear infection. She started antibiotics four days ago. So figured I probably just picked up some crud from her. But following our expectation at the church these days, I stayed home, took a COVID rapid test, and am drinking a lot of fluids and staying in a sweatshirt. That is the expectation that we have for each other at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln now. A cough, a sore throat, a fever, it's time to slow down, get tested, and work from home. That's really important because the other thing that I did this morning was listen in on two workplace town halls at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, where my wife Stacy works. Now, Mount Sinai was the epicenter of the initial COVID surge in March of 2020. And in that initial surge, I watched a lot of these town halls. They did them once a week in the first couple months of the pandemic. And this was the first one that they've done in a while because Mount Sinai is gearing up for the most intense COVID wave they've had since that first one. Now the folks that Stacy works with are professionals. They don't get spooked. But the conversations that they were having this morning were really serious. Because after two years, the medical system in both New York and Lincoln, Nebraska is way past where it was meant to be. And so while Stacy and I have friends and coworkers working in hospitals who are some of the most dedicated, professional, caring folks we know, there comes a point when there are simply too many patients to care for than the hospitals have capacity for. So we will talk about Christmas in the next update. But for today, there is exactly one message for this update, which is that if you have not gotten your third vaccine dose, if you have not gotten a booster vaccine yet, this is the time to do it. Right now. Not when the Omicron surge gets bad in three weeks. Not in a day or two when you finished your Christmas shopping, not next week when you have some time off anyway, but now, today. There are vaccine clinics at 3131 O Street at the health department here. They're open until six o'clock today, and there'll be a clinic tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's at 3131 O Street. You can also get booster vaccines at your local pharmacy. I got mine at the CVS where I fill my prescriptions right down here on South Street. If you also, if you have not gotten your first vaccine, do it now. It is, it is, there's no time better than this moment to start that process. There's a, a time in prepping for a hurricane where forecasters stop saying, here's where we think the storm is going to make landfall, make sure you're prepped. And they start saying, instead, you need to take shelter right now. That's what Stacy and I heard at the Mount Sinai town halls this morning. And we're at that point with the Omicron wave and booster vaccines. So get it done. Don't be one of those people trying to access hospital care because you delayed this step. You are smarter than that. You are wiser than that. You have access to resources and advice. If you need help, reach out. We will get you to a vaccine site. Don't make this church do a memorial service for you because you didn't get vaccinated or didn't get boosted. So get a booster dose, wear a good mask, and stay safe. If we do those things, then we can be together. We'll talk about this more in a couple days, but right now the plan is that we will remain open in person at 6300 A Street with those expectations of each other, that we are vaccinated and we wear masks. So do those things, beloveds. Do them, do them, do them. And we will get through this together. See you in the next update.